Hi everyone, welcome back to Station Years Vulcan, Season 3, this is Episode 39. Now, um, yeah, I've been mining, I've got a ton of silicon, I've put, been putting it through the arc furnace, and I've been in here churning out glass, trying to get as much glass as I can, um, as quickly as I can. Uh, I don't need to run that. Uh, unfortunately, the black hole is rising, and I forgot to run this thing. I was meant to be sucking gas in there. What am I doing? Where's, where's my thing? What have I got in here? Yeah, oh well, I, I can't sit here babysitting this thing right now. I've got got stuff to do. Um, so, let's get... Let's get these things done. Uh, the other big thing that I have a problem with, of course, is... Yeah, heavy cables. I don't have enough heavy cables to complete the line, but... Uh, for now, let's just get as many of these things welded as I can before it gets too hot out here. Um, yeah, I need uh, still a ton of glass and a ton of heavy cables. So yeah, I got to remember to run this thing next time, next night time. 14. I I don't have time. Oh, maybe I do. I can wait. Uh, but as you can see, look at this. I've I've got four more stacks to go. Um, I just don't have much gold. That's the problem. I, I, I'm very low on gold. I'm very low on copper. I don't really have time for this. That that'll have to do. Let's just get it out of there. I didn't pull a full stack in. Just 45. Um, anyway, that helps. I can run silicon through my furnace. It wastes some of my destroys the heat, the overall heat of my furnace, which obviously is not very good. So we got five more sheets here. Um, should we make more, or should we start working on on plastic? Let's just make more. Uh, so, well, I mean, we're getting there. At least the top row are all glassed, and most of those are glassed now. It's just uh, the last, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six fives, that's 30 glass I need. And that's all, and then I'm done. Well, that's I'm done with them. Then I need all the glass for all these windows. So it's pretty crazy how much I need. Um, 13, that makes 20. I needed 30. That's 25. And that's it. 27. I still don't have enough. It doesn't matter because I don't have the heavy cables. I have to grab these two, but as you can see, I cannot afford much in the way of heavy cables. I'll make as many as I can, but then I'll be out of gold. Uh, that'll make me, what, 12 heavy cables. And that's not even enough. Okay, this thing's got to be close to my 20 degree target. Yeah, it is. It's doing well, actually. I can, I can probably speed that process up really quickly just let's just let's just rip this water temperature down like really crazy let's get it to 20 even if I get it to 15 that's fine I don't mind if it's colder in there though my greenhouse has been sitting quite pretty between 25 and 27 it's been very very nice I've been running that the whole time I didn't mean to and I don't I do have some co2 in there but I would like to cool it down to 18 or so I got stuff in there. It's already at the 20 that I want, and this is at 20.8, so I can cool this stuff down a little bit as well. Lots of air conditioners running at the moment. I'm just trying to get this water down to 21 now. So one thing I can do is... Wait, what was that? Health low? Hunger low, maybe? I don't know. I got a message. I was talking at the time. I don't know what the uh, what that was. But I, I would like some food, so let's just bake potato again. It's been my diet for a long time now. I mean, I was drinking milk for a while there. I'm just emptying this, just trying to slowly empty this machine, basically. Um, it's still got a bunch of potatoes. It's got some oil in there. I can make french fries out of them and shove them in the machine ready for canned french fries. Five French fries. Okay, one of the things that's going to happen here is this is right, isn't it? Yeah, that's my loop. So, what we're going to have here is we're going to have a volume pump in the middle, 
and oh, I should keep an eye on these because they can sometimes fall into the machine, which is very frustrating. One, two, we can just chuck these in here and turn them into canned french fries later on. We've got six of them in there. Um, I mean, there are other things we can do. Like, what else have we got in here? Ten tomatoes. Like, we can we can turn them into cooked tomatoes. And the cooked corn as well. Why does it take so long for it to cook? It shouldn't take that long. Um, so basically, this volume pump here is going to now going... It's now going to sit here. Uh, no, it's going to point that way. And this is for emptying emptying my furnace, pretty much. I mean, emptying my queue. Okay, there's five cooked tomatoes. I can make tomato soup out of that. I'm going to make another five more. I just want to get them out of the machine. Just clear it. I'll make some cans as well. And, uh, and uh, fill my food cupboard completely up. <laughs> no, I've got this decayed food here. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't need to swap hands. I did for the french fries. One more cooked tomato. There we go. Let's do a cooked corn. I'm just clearing the machine. That's all I'm doing. I don't like the fact that I'm storing food in this machine. I think it's wrong. God, that looks delicious. I want to eat that. Um, how are these tomatoes going? Yeah, there. These potatoes are also very close to death. I mean, it's probably better for me to just turn it into decayed food. This corn has 8.9 hours left. That is 26 hours. So all my food is gonna expire. Yeah, these tomatoes here. It's just empty the lot. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. That's fine, just keep cooking it. Um, okay, so where's the black hole? It's there. Um, what I want to do is I want to queue up all this stuff. So basically, we're going to pile all this stuff in this machine here. And then we're going to get a bit of gas in there. Whoa, I can pull silicon out already. I just want to... Um, I just want to put enough in there so I can process all of that and pull a giant stack of silicon out. That should be fine. Look at all this corn. Get in there. I'm going to turn all the corn soup, basically. I can stop this. If I got 60 tomatoes in there. <laughs> ah, so much food. Yeah, let's just keep cooking corn. Okay, um, another thing I would like to do is actually, this gold needs to be done as well. And I need to do another stack of iron too. Um, do you think the silicon in there is going to be good enough? The pressure in there is tiny. Oh, I've been sucking it out as I'm putting it in. I didn't mean to do that. I left that on, which was silly. So let's um, get the pressure up. Now will this actually pull it out? Will it give me a giant stack of silicon? It did. 206. Perfect. Okay, let's suck the rest out. But unfortunately, the temperature in my heat tank is really dropping significantly, which is not what I wanted. But all this silicon will allow me to make glass. It was necessary. God, i got to do something about these cables. They were supposed to be temporary. I left this on. My water is probably freezing over right now. I don't know, maybe not. 11 degrees, it's a little bit... A little bit on the cold side. That's fine, it's fine. Even if I put water in, I'd be mixing it with hotter water, so it's not a, not a huge issue. Okay, we've got some heavy cables, but we've got no gold. Um, I wonder if there's enough in there to just quickly do this. That's what I want to do. Just quickly make myself some gold. 
no, the temperature's not good enough. It rises and it falls. Let's just pop a little bit of gas in there. And let's see if we can pull it out. Yep. Easy. Suck the rest out. Temperature of my heat tank is very low now. Um, uh, okay, uh, I want to cancel this. I know I need a lot of glass, but I wanted to save some of the silicon for plastic. Well, I don't have a glass problem anymore. How much have I got? Oh, actually, hardly any. <laughs> I don't know if that's anywhere near enough. Uh, but anyway, let's get the plastic. I'm going to drink some water in a moment. Uh, copper... There we go. Okay, yeah, great. What is that doing there? Uh, one thing I would like is more heavy cables. I don't think 12 is going to cut it. Everything out here is fine, isn't it? Did I leave this machine on? I didn't know. Oh, let's just turn it on anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just sucking the gases out of there. In fact, they're all out now. So I can dial this down. My heat tank is down there. Under 1900 now. I'm not very happy about that. I might have to do some H2 combusting. Maybe just H2 combust a little bit of water and then use that to heat gases, cool gases, whatever. Use that to um, create some super hot gas. Uh, no, that's fine. There should be one in there. Okay, let's get outside. Stuff to do. Why did I close that door? Am I insane? One thing I should have done... Oh, I should do it on one of my other batteries. I know, they're all not quite 100%. No storm, that's good. Okay, so I want to fill this to the brim with gas now. Well, not to the brim, but I want to fill it up with gas. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Look at that, huh? Isn't that good? Fantastic. And I got 34 of this left. I'll, I'll go through that very, very quickly. It's not a. I didn't overproduce it. If anything, I didn't produce enough plastic. Let's get all these in place. Be a quick job. And there we go. Beautiful storm proof solar system. And I've got enough room here for probably several, quite a few um, wind turbines. I like those little guys. They just keep the they keep the um, the power just trickling in during the night. And and obviously during a storm as well. So what I want to do here is just, I'm going to have floating frames for a short while. I guess I'm being lazy in a way. I mean, there's no such thing as structural support in this game. I don't have to do any of this stuff, but I just can't stand the way it looks when you've got floating stuff. I know, when when you watch someone play Minecraft and you, you see floating, floating stuff in the air, floating blocks, it just, like just rubs me the wrong way. So I don't mind having floating stuff if it's temporary. Um, okay, this is looking good. It's looking good. We've got enough here for uh, windmills, lots of windmills. So yeah, we'll be able to fit one in the middle here and then one more after that. So one, two, three, three more windmills, maybe more, or wind turbines, not necessarily windmills. Oh, good, I've got some water on me. I should... Uh, Get my water up to like 75. Perfect. Okay, so what we're doing here is... I mean, I would like to go in here now. I'm pretty sure this is probably done. But uh, one of the things I wanted to work on... And I did forget to get steel. Oh, I want to put that iron on.
I need to make some steel frames and steel sheets because I want to have solar panels all the way along here inside my base I think that's the basic idea the basic idea Aha. anyway uh, getting more coal is not bad I'm gonna be running out of steel at some point for sure This looks pretty good. Grab that as well. And yeah, the basic idea is we're going to start a line of these. I'm thinking of having them. Um, uh, yeah. Just, I'm just having a think about this. i to think about my jetpack at some point soon. I'd like to put a lot cooler gas in it. Um, maybe maybe I'll, I'll put super cool hydrogen in there or something. Just make sure I don't use it in my base, particularly once I get oxygen going. Because that would be uh, oxygen plus hydrogen does not make a good combination. Um, I mean, ideally you want a jetpack that's like oxygen. <laughs> just have so much of the stuff that you don't need to to worry so what I'm thinking is I'm actually going to have this extend out here like this this I, I hope this this would actually work and a ceiling like this And what I'm going to do is once I've completely encased all of this and filled it all in, there we go, which obviously requires a absolute ton of frames and stuff. I'm going to use that active end at the end there to suck all of this dry. Um, all this turned out to be a big giant mistake. So I had a bunch of cables here that I could have been using this whole time. I need to think of a, a different solution for that. That's fine though. Uh, oh, actually that line will probably stay because it will connect to my battery room. Um, yeah, so as you can see I need a ton of, well, a ton of everything really. Um, okay, so uh, in terms of plastic, we can get these side walls in. I'm, I don't know whether I should just do this in, in parts, or whether I should uh, do the whole lot at once. Probably in parts is better, the more I think about it. So, this is going to be a massive base. <laughs> it's, all, it's all horizontal. Um, I'd like to build extra stories and extra floors and things like that, but it's, it's very difficult to do. Because um, cause then I'd have to lift all my... All my uh, power generation would all have to be lifted up. Oh, that iron should be done by now. I'm just getting as much of this done as I can. I'm still nowhere near closing this off and sucking everything out, but... Is that all of it? Oh yeah, that'll do. Can't do much more unless I get more plastic and stuff. Okay, so this is done. I did need more iron. Uh, I've got more here, 12 more. We'll, we'll grab that really quick. That should not take very long. Where Where is the sun anyway? It's getting close. The black hole is getting close. Let's have a look at this thing here. So yeah, now we've got like a good 20 megapascals in here. So 
the air conditioners will take a long time to actually cool this thing down. So we'll turn this off right now. This iron is ready. We can turn this off. And we can just spend this last few seconds just um, getting my getting this thing up. That's at 5.88. Um, we're going to leave this out. 6, 650, 7, 8, it'll do. Yeah, beautiful. Um, okay, so from all that, we could tell quite a few things. One of the things we could tell was that, well, let's just, I keep forgetting, I, sh I should really pay closer attention. I, I should shorten this as well. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. Um, let's, let's just combine all our iron into one stack. I could have used the stacker to do that as well. Um, okay, what have we got? We got a bit of gold, a bit of copper, not very much. We got a lot of silicon. Obviously, we need more plastic, a lot of plastic and a lot of glass. Um, but the other thing we need oh these things are probably rotting um, let's let's make a baked potato really quick just something I can eat right now yummy 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 there you go, used half my potato. Um, so I can figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I need ten frames and another eighteen sheets. So yeah, ten frames, twenty sheets, just to cover that. Uh, this should be completely sucked dry by now. In fact, I'm going to take the gamble that it is, and I'm going to pull these glasses up. I don't, I don't think it would still have any atmosphere in here. I'd be shocked if it did. Yeah, we're good. Fantastic. So, uh, we can actually work on this furnace now if we want to. Uh, let's get more stuff. Yeah, so we can suck that out. We'll suck it out. We can pull that off, pull that off, pull this off, pull that off. Um, I actually think I'm going to leave this one here. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be my doorway here. I know there's a machine there at the moment, but these machines are going to be moved right at the back here somewhere. Uh, this whole thing here, this whole line is going to be a line that has uh, solar panels in them, and I'm just going to I'm just going to run them along along this line all the way. In fact, I don't even need to. Just thinking about it, I don't even need to evacuate it. I just need to seal it so the storms don't hurt them. That's all I need to do. So uh, I was going to make them part of my base, but uh, they don't need to be. So what I can do is continue this this line along here. In fact, yeah. Okay, good. I should have a ton of plastic now. Oh my god, what have I done? Quick, 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 cancel. God, <sighs> I forgot how quickly it makes. Look how much plastic I have. Okay, I'm never going to have a plastic problem in the future. This is insane. I have gone insane. Seventy-three plastic, plus any seventy-four, plus who knows if there's any in any other machines. That's funny. I can put this in here, but I can't put it in there. That's weird. You can't actually put stuff in there because it said plastic sheet was not type ingot. I've never seen that before. Um, we need one more plastic sheet, by the way. Okay, good thing I didn't pull it out halfway through. Um, glass. So yeah, went overboard on the plastic. My bad.
How much am I actually going to need? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I need 21 plastic for that. 22, 23, 24. So I actually only need 24. Well, I better be out of silicon because I spent it all on plastic. Hydration critical. Oh, I wanted some silicon for some pipes. I, I don't actually know if I need the pipes or not. One thing I do need though is an active vent. I'm going to be using that active vent. Yeah, I probably should just get another active vent. It's probably the best way to play. Um, how many have I got? 45. We'll get one more. Okay, we'll save 15 silicon. You never know when I'm going to need it for something. Um, so yeah, I want an active vent. Another one. I also need two consoles I need the active vent more thank you there we go I'm also going to use a passive vent active vent, passive vent I do want to keep some of these pipes handy I would actually like five more pipes, to be honest. Let's do it. I don't want to use up all my silicon. Yeah, we'll get one more. Okay, let's pull everything out of here. So one of them's going here, the other one's going there. Actually, no, it's not. It's going here. The other thing is, rather than putting the... What would be cheaper? I'm just thinking. Putting my solar panels on kit walls or on... Yeah, I don't know, actually. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can always change stuff up later. One thing is very certain. I need a lot more steel frames. And if I really want to set up my furnace to be used indoors, I'm going to need... Oops. I'm going to need a couple of consoles. Get consoles. And they're going to need gas displays. I mean, I could get three consoles and do the hash display thing again. That might be a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. It looks cool, if anything. But uh, yeah, I'm completely out of copper. I can't make any gas displays. I got no copper. This is nuts. How many of these did I need? Just trying to think. I know I counted them. It was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I only need 10. It's not really that many. Um, let's replace this thing here. Do I have any air conditioners and stuff running? I probably do. Let's stop that. There's my 10. Um, but I need to double weld them, so I need 20, 20 steel sheets. And while these sheets are building, let's just check to see what kind of machines I have running right now. Okay, I'm, I'm air conditioning this. I'm sure that's completely unnecessary right now. It is. We've got 2.85k moles. Let's just plug it into there. I'm running this thing here. That's completely unnecessary as well. And I'm running that thing, which is also completely unnecessary. Yeah, that's fine. Looks like my, my water has settled down at 10 degrees, which is pretty funny.
Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, while we're waiting for these sheets, let's just chow down on this baked potato a little bit. Oh, it's cool out there. I can actually go outside now. And I'm going to put more gas into my air conditioning system, I believe. What, what is the temperature of the air conditioning system? 146. It's lovely. Oh, it's got 20 megapascals in it. I'm not even going to bother. It's just something I have to worry about. Okay, there we go. We've got these. Now, um... Consoles, I'll do that later. The pipes I'll hang on to. And the rest of this stuff I will do now. Yep, all good. Let's get outside. No storms coming in. Okay, so one thing I would very much like to do is the same thing I the same thing I did over there. I want to evacuate this room here. So let's let's do this. Okay. Blah. Blah. Ah, there we go. And we just need to get the rest of the plastic and the glass on. Plastic, plastic, plastic. So we got glass here, glass here. Is there anything else that's not glassed? Well, one thing that's going to happen is... I mean... I've got six pipes to play with. I've got to think about this. Um, I can't place that there, unless I put a wall here. Oh, I can place it... Okay, this is really funny. I can place it here, though. Um, but I'll only be... Yeah, it's not, not so good. Not as good as I want. I'm, I want to connect to this cable here, basically. So... What I'm thinking is, I will have this here, like this, and I'll have this here. No, I don't like this at all either. This is also bad. I'm just going to have the pipe run up the wall. I think that's just the way to do it. And we're just looking for a cable to connect off of. That one will do. Honestly. We can... Uh, that one's even better, because I can just pump stuff straight outside. This is perfect. So, we can just do this. And we can do... Ugh. Yeah, we can eat a bit of our potato, but that's not what I clicked on. That's what the game think I, thinks I clicked on, but I didn't actually click on it. Um, let's... This, and this, and we can just connect that up inside, and we can start running it now. It's not going to make much sense until I get a passive vent on there. i got to check all these windows to make sure everything's fine. But I can't actually attach a passive vent until I... Yeah, chuck a wall here, and then the passive vent can go on the other side. Oh, alternatively, I could have put it down there. But uh, we'll do it this way. Okay, it's all set and ready to go. And in fact, I can rip this wall up now. There we go. And basically, when I connect power to it, it'll instantly just start sucking this room dry. So, we go here, and hopefully, that's the whole room. The whole thing is... Whoa! Good thing I checked. Nope, I didn't get that one. Okay, now that's the whole room. Okay, that's one job done. Health low, 74% is fine. Who knows if what I'm doing is a good idea or not. I just figure, meh, let's try it. Worst case scenario, I rip everything up and try something else. Well, the absolute worst case scenario, I recycle all my old solar panels. But I figure I've got them, they bring in a lot of power. So, 
Why recycle them? Let's try and use them. Oh no, I need to double double weld these, because they need to be storm proofed. So it's actually quite expensive, it's what um, three steel for one of these. Or oh, three iron, sorry. Oh, yeah, three steel. Three steel is actually less than three iron. Okay, I pretty much spent the whole night out here just working. Okay, the next thing I need to do is... I mean, one thing that's definitely going to happen at some point is... Glass, glass, glass... Oh, okay, so these are already been glassed. Glass, glass. But the rest have not been glassed. They have to be plastic first. Um, yeah, we will glass these first before we plastic them. Do I have enough glass? I'd rather start at this end, that way I'll know I'll have every single bit done. This is all glass, this is good. There's no wall here. Why is there no wall here? Come on, show me the window. Oh, I got it. And... Hey, we actually have started on our stack of 50. Okay. Now we glass. Okay. And that should be a completely sealed chamber on its own. You know, if, I mean, if anything, I could, I could evacuate that chamber while I'm evacuating this one here if I want to, but is there any reason to evacuate them? I mean, I just want to shield it from storms. I'm not, I don't need the room to be evacuated. So, one of the problems I might have, I, I think all the cables are going to go around the front. I think this is going to work. And the cables are all going to connect around the front, and from the front they're going to connect around here and into the battery room. And this is going to, the battery room is going to be up at this end here. There's going to be batteries here everywhere. I need a ton of copper and gold if I want to have a proper battery room. Um, what else do I need to do out here? Did I put any iron on? No. Um, furnace. I, let's get the chutes. Let's get as much of that furnace done as possible. I'm at the 38 minute mark, um, before I do any of that, let's, there we go, so that should start sucking gas out of that room and evacuating it completely. These things are going to go, yeah, it's going to be interesting. I don't have the heavy cables for them, but uh, I can do some of these things. Um, shoots, shoots. Didn't I have a bunch of extra shoots? There they are. I want those. I can't use any of this other stuff. I mean, I, I can, but I do it inside, not outside. That's fine. Let's get out there. I'll drink a bit later. Getting close to the black hole rising. So, um, shoots. So what we're going to do is have a shoot going this way. This is the input, isn't it? It goes in through the top. So really what I want is, I need more than 10. Because what's going to happen is, well, I mean, 
it, it's going to go down. I mean, I, I might start off by going across like this, but I have to go, I have to do a loop down before I come around and out through the wall. So, you know, I could do it like this. And through there like this. Yeah, I need... Yeah. Something like that. Or I could go down one more and and actually have a far more convenient shoot system than the one I have over there. So I can poke it through here and then have the inlet up so I don't have to reach over so much. Um, active vent goes here. where I don't have an active vent. And I left that one in there running. I thought I made an active vent. Oh, I did, and I put it over there. I need another active vent. How am I out of active vents? One thing I've wanted to do for a long time is this. I've wanted to put a wall, a window here. Um, just double line this. And once it's double lined, I can... I can actually get rid of a lot of these pipes. There's just too many of them there. In fact, I can... I can actually get rid of this. It's getting hot out here. But yeah, the basic idea is to do this and put this window back in. and have the passive vent out here like this and it's just shorter and it's just neater and easier to work with. Do I have... yeah, I have everything. It should be quicker for me to evacuate this airlock if that pipe is shorter in principle. But also it gives me more material that I can uh, recycle. Um, okay, let's get out of here. Uh, we'll use a different battery. It doesn't really matter. All my batteries are just full every single day. It's ne it's never, I'm never having a, an issue with batteries. I can go ahead and recycle a bunch of these. I'm never going to use them. I'm always going to use insulated pipes, I think. I don't see a situation where I don't use insulated pipes. Um, okay, one thing I was thinking of doing, I, I put these in here because I was thinking of going in here, just opening up the glass and then chucking a bunch of solar panels along there. Um, but they do need to connect to some batteries. I would like some batteries. The big problem with batteries is this. How expensive they are. I mean, God, they even require five silicon, which is not exactly something I can proudly say I have a lot of. Um, electrum, steel, copper, gold. Look at that. Copper, gold, steel. It's so expensive. Where is my steel? It's all in here. So if I want to have an actual battery room, you know, I'm going to want, you know, like like four of them along the back wall, and then, yeah, it it's a tricky little thing. Maybe, yeah, four and three and three. It, it's it's going to be a lot of batteries. That's what it comes down to. I could do battery and storage in one, and make the entire room a battery storage room, and the idea would be to have you know, battery, story, locker, battery, locker, battery, locker. Because um, the width of the lockers, the width of the batteries and the width of the lockers with the doors open is actually really complementary. Um, so I would love very large batteries, a ton of them. I might do that actually, just have the whole room go as a circle around which uh, alternates batteries and lockers. I don't know, I have to experiment. I have to make a bunch of batteries and a bunch of lockers and, and experiment with the spacing and find out what looks coolest, what works best. I'm going to let this suck stuff out for quite some time before I try and do anything. Um, and once I have batteries in there, I can do a proper proper battery charger arrangement, not the, the rubbish I have. Um, okay, everything here looks really good. I'm at the 44 minute mark of this video. Um, I do want to go mining, that's the thing. Obviously, I need a lot of everything. So, I, I don't want to end the episode right here. I want to just 
keep the episode going for a bit until night time arrives. But what I can be doing while I'm waiting for night time is I could be getting all this stuff set up. The logic switches, the console monitor, the data disks. Um, how much gold and copper do I have? Do I have zero copper? Of course I've got zero copper. Can I make some copper? That's a good question. Look at my bag of tricks here. I got a ton of copper. Let's just let's just make a ton of copper. At least then I won't have any copper problems. I still have gold problems, but I won't have copper problems. So let's just chuck a little bit of stuff in here. I was hoping to set up my furnace before um and to just do it for free in my furnace and not waste the temperature of this stuff here. Um so if I hit this, will I get copper? How much did I get? 111, I got the lot. Okay, suck this out. But as you can see, it's going to cool down my tank a bit. Well, at least the copper is not a problem. I need an active vent for my new furnace. So that's one thing that's going to happen. Um, I need gas displays. Two of them. One for pressure, one for temperature. I'm out of gold. I have zero gold. Well, I have one gas display anyway. Um, so yeah, over here... Oh, I need more shoots as well. Shoot. Now, can I fit all three displays in the middle here? Because that would be cool. One, two, three. Yeah. It's just a shame I didn't line my furnace up just one to the right, because I could have this coming out of the wall here, this coming out of the wall here, and the three displays in the middle. You know what this means, right? <laughs> I'm moving the whole lot over one space. I'm just going to have to. It's going to happen. I'm going to do it. It's. Uh, I, I want it to look good. Can I afford an active vent with... One gold. Vent. Yeah, one gold. We can get one more active vent. Um, this is done. Temperature of my gas is now to 1861. So I, I really do have to consider... Really have to consider doing another big water job at some point. But yeah, gold, silicon. What else do I need for this monstro uh, monstrosity of a battery? And not just one, I want a ton of them. Um, gold, copper, steel. The steel is... It's it's okay. I've got enough steel to work with there. Um, electrum. I could use some more electrum. I could make that if I had the gold. Silicon, definitely. And I've got enough stellite. You can see I haven't even used any of my stellite yet. I made it, but I haven't used it. Over here, we need shoots. And I think we needed four. So... Temperature is starting to go down. Night time is, is approaching. When I go out there, I'm going to be probably doing another big... Unless there's a storm, I'm probably going to be doing another big a big mining run. What's happening with this thing is I have decided I'm going to move everything across one space. The furnace, the whole lot. It's going to hopefully look really nice. Um, but obviously, I need to... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of work to be done here. This goes through the wall here. Then we're going to have an output here. Shoot outlet, which is going to drop stuff down there. And um, and yeah, and this thing, rather than coming in through here, is instead going to come through... Whoops. Straight. It's going to go through there. And the input, of course, is going to come... It's going to sit right there. So basically, I drop stuff in here, and it pops out there. And I might have a cupboard here or something like that. 
that's a basic idea. I don't need to have this on anymore. Um, if I connect this door up, I can actually I can actually use this to enter and exit my base as well. I mean, I don't need to connect the door up. It's just it's just convenient. Straight. There we go. So, yeah. So I can enter, exit and enter that way. And uh, the advantage of what I've just done here is that I can have the, uh, the three monitors in the middle like this. Beautiful. There's going to be three switches probably, or three levers. Um, one is going to handle opening up, one's going to handle gas going in, and one's going to handle gas going out. So there's going to be gas in, open furnace, gas out, something like that. I don't need to have dials of this stuff, it's just going to be a simple on-off button switch. Uh, it's all going to fit in the middle there, and I just need place for the logic. And I don't know, the logic will probably just go on the floor here somewhere. So there's basically going to be, it, it's going to be like logic reader, logic writer sort of thing. It's going to be a reader, another reader, um, another reader. I don't know, I might do it like this instead. Just, just so it looks a bit tidier. I could always do floor coverings if I want to and cover all this logic up at some point. Why am I putting more readers down? Um, okay, it's night time. I want to uh, put a stop to this episode very soon. Obviously, I need a ton of cables. I need a ton of everything. Um, gas display. Well, we'll put one of these in. One's going to be the pressure... One's going to be the temperature, one's going to be pressure, and one's going to be a hash display. And um, that goes outside. There we go. Chuck that there. Chuck this here. Um, I don't have to go out the main door, do I? I just wanted to check to see if I was doing anything important in here. Let's turn my um, filtration machine off so we're conserving power. Not that we need to conserve power, we have a lot of power. Yeah, so we can actually go out the other door if we want to. It might be a good idea. Oh, yeah, not much I can do. Um, okay, so I wanted to completely rip this up. and just change its location over here like this and just move everything including the furnace across one I mean it's not not actually a hard job it's just funny that I that I put all that work in and then just changed it all um, that's not my highest priority my highest priority right now is mining but what I'm going to do I think is I'm going to open up this thing here should be fine. And what I can do is I can actually put these here. Uh, this is... You know, I, ca I can actually um, sort of lay out how these are going to go. What on earth? Okay, so there's a bit of a problem here in that this circuitry here has to change, but I, I'm not even using that circuitry, and that can go anywhere in my base that I want it to go. Uh, if these, any, any, yeah, that's just what I have to worry about. Anyway, let's um, let's get all these in. Let's just see how the spacing goes. And yeah, we can fit a few more in if we want to. Not bad, not bad. Oh, I can actually glass all of these. Oh, once again, this episode's gone 10 more minutes than I wanted it to, and I still haven't gone out mining yet. Um, but I kind of wanted to get that in there right now while I could. 
and what's going to happen is these cables are going to connect all these guys up don't ask me how don't ask me how I'm going to get in there I mean uh, once I open up this room which is going to be very soon I'll be able to run cables along there from the other side hopefully I, I should be able to do all this cabling from the other side of the wall the only tricky bit is the bit where it goes up the wall and along the roof and it'll be going along the roof like this basically and connecting to the main the main line so obviously a lot more heavy cable you know ton more heavy cables are required but uh yep yeah. what the there we go so i need i need heavy heavy cables to go down there and connect to all these guys i got to remember though to keep this completely sealed at all times and there we go there's they're stormproof and they sit at the front of my base and they provide me with a little trickle of power okay anyway everyone i hope you're still watching the series and enjoying it to some extent um i'm gonna put this down even though i know that it's about to be ripped up <laughs> i hope you're still enjoying the series i hope you're still watching i hope you haven't gotten bored of the series just yet there we go it looks funny. It looks like I'm trying to get gas out of the water pipe. Anyway, I keep getting distracted again and again and again. I'm trying to wrap up. Um, this will be the end of this episode. Um, and I hope you all come back again to see what happens next in the series. I'm going mining. When you see me again, hopefully I'll have a ton of resources. So thanks for watching and bye for now.